Hey guys, today we're going to talk about copper deficiencies. Now, no, you can't suck on a penny because that's the wrong type of copper. That's elemental. You want to consume a copper that is actually from food, uh, not from a metal. Okay, very important. Now, what does copper do in the body? Well, it, it helps form collagen and connective tissue. And that's why if you're deficient, you can actually lose the elasticity with your connective tissue and get a symptom called sway back where your lower back is exaggerated going forward. So you have this excessive lordosis or curve in your lower back. But you can also have all sorts of uh, problems with your ligaments, even flat feet. But these dysfunctions occur when you're in the womb, when you're first developed. If your mother that's carrying you is deficient in these trace minerals, you could start having these problems. Okay, so copper is a cofactor. And by the way, copper is a trace mineral, which means you need it in very small amounts compared to other minerals that you need in larger amounts. So, but it's a cofactor, a helper mineral in certain enzymes. Enzymes do the work in the body. Um, they're basically proteins that uh, form different structures and do different chemical processes. So one of the enzymes helps make melanin, which is a pigment in your skin, okay? So if you're deficient in copper, you can get something called vitiligo which is a loss of pigment. So there's little white specks in your, in your skin. And this enzyme called tyrosinase is present in mushrooms. There's actually a mushroom extract you could take to help vitiligo, okay? Because of what it does to melanin. Now, copper is also involved in making neurotransmitters. And these are kind of like communication particles that travel through the nervous system as compared to hormones travel through the blood. So neurotransmitters are just another way the body can communicate. Very important in growth of the fetus. So if you're deficient, you're gonna get neurodegeneration, which is basically breakdown of the nervous system. One symptom being peripheral neuropathy, which is the destruction of the nerves in your feet or your hands. You see that a lot in diabetes. Loss of vision, okay? Decrease white blood cells, so your immune system actually is deficient. Uh, you have a uh, muscle weakness, uh, symptoms similar to a B12 deficiency, anemia, and lastly, the foods that you can eat that are high in copper would be oysters, organ meats like liver, make sure it's grass-fed, meats in general, leafy greens, and of course, mushrooms. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.